you're welcome back in today's video i'll be teaching you how to package your soap beautifully like this can you see these soaps are they not beautiful yes and i package them manually and also it is very very affordable to package this way so if you have a cup of tea just grab one relax and watch this video please ensure you watch till the end as you'll be learning something very very valuable and i'll be helping you to save a lot of money please watch till the end because i also shared a tip that will help you package your soap more beautifully especially using my trimmer so let's jump right into the video so today i'll be showing you how to package your soap simply this way you can yours can be neater though just like this simple way like this it's very affordable simple so that's what i'll be showing you this one today so what do you what do we need we need a nylon like this you know this nylon this nylon that they used to package chin chin that used to have um cello tape at the at the tip you either use this nylon or you use or you, or you use this one this one they've actually pre-made it having you in mind with this line as if it's from those big big um companies so this one of the edges is sealed they've sealed here so you can just put your soap into it and use your sealing machine to seal it that is one option but this nylon is a bit more expensive than this other one so you can either use this nylon that has been pre-made for you or use so i'm going to show you how to use both of them so we can we, we have our heat gun if you want we have a is our heat gun these are sealing machine and cello tape, of course. We have our cello tape. And then I have my labels. All you need is just to go to a printer, tell them to print labels for you with your name. They should design it beautifully for you. Then you can use them like this. So this one, I, I didn't do much. I just did it by 100 pieces and I collected 2005. So if you're doing much, it will be cheaper. The more the cheaper. So I, I, I did just um, 100 pieces and the printer collected 25 for me. So... It can be cheaper in your in your in your area and when you make them when you do like one thousand pieces it will be far 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 cheaper in fact they can even collect five thousand for one thousand pieces so here this so what do i do the first thing i'll do is to get my nylon just watch me follow me and i'll put my soup inside my nylon this is my soup i'll put it inside my it's like i have water on here like water pot there because i'll need water also so water pod there so but i will see easy because i need water you would have done your soap and keep the soap to dry so what i have touched but i want to show i'll just touch water a bit i'll just touch water here is water i'll just touch water yeah then i'll touch here why am i doing this i want that i want this thing to stick to the soap so i do not move when i put it so i'll just put my label I'll make it stick to the soap so that it will not be dancing up and down. You know, so that it will not be dancing up and down. You're watching what you're doing. So I'll not be dancing what's up, up and down. So I've done that. So I'll just come here. I'll just... I'll remove this solute. I'll fold. I'll, I'll make it come to one side of the nylon. Is one side then I'll fold again like this and I'll come here I'll fold this also I want it to be very nice are you seeing me I'll fold it this side also I fold it this side because the, the nylon is bigger this nylon actually comes in different sizes so you can actually buy a size that fits your soup but if you don't get a size that fits you just do what I'm doing and I'll take my cello tape this is my cello tape and I'll start I'll just sell the tape. Are you seeing what I'm doing? I'm making it as neat as I can. You would have cut down your cello tape. So Are you seeing what I'm doing? So here we have it. Just with, just make sure the cello tape holds it well.
You can buy the slimmer cello tape that is not big, depending on the size of your soap though. So at the end, I will trim everything with scissors. I'm just giving you an idea of what to do. So here we go. So here we have it. Can you see? So at the end, I'll just use scissors to trim off all these ones. Do you see? It's simple, it's easy. This is one way you can do this. This is one way you can get this done. Another thing you can do is if the soap you want, if your nylon is not too big, another thing you can do is put your soap inside there. Touch it with water. Put your cellulite, put your label. Remove the cellulite. Fold this side also. Fold it neatly. And if you have light, at this point, you can use your heat gun. There's no light. You can actually use your heat gun to help you hold it tight with your heat gun. But there's no light now, so I cannot do that. But if there's light, you just use your heat gun, hold it very, very tight. It will be very beautiful like this. That is another way you can get it. But since I don't have light, I'm going to use yellow tape again. So exactly, see this way it is very, very easy and beautiful. Can you see? See, so just like this, you can just with your nylon, your nylon, your cello tape, and your label, you get your soap packet like this. Another thing you can do again, if you want to use this particular nylon that I said has you can use this nylon, just put your soap in it. Put your soap inside the nylon. Touch it with water so that it, the, 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 the label will stay. Then put your label. You see it's beautiful. Then bring it down to your, your sealing machine and seal. Can you see? But I don't have electricity. There's no power. Nepa has taken life. <laughs> so, Nepa has taken life. This is what we are facing here. So, this is it. So, you can just put and, and you seal it. Once you seal, you come and use a, a, um, scissors. Once you seal, after you have sealed it, eh, you come and use scissors to cut off, to cut off the edges. So, you can see how beautiful it is. Can you see? Show me well. Can you see how beautiful it is? So just use your sealing machine. Make sure it's tight. Once you have sealed it, it will come out. Then you cut. That is if you want this nylon that has this um line at the back. I see this. This is, so you can see. If you put it inside and seal it. You can see how your soap will come out. Very beautiful. You don't need to use nylon. You don't need to use tele tape. Look at it. It's very, very beautiful. That is another thing you can do. Also, if you want to use this one too, want to use this one too, if 
the nylon you bought is exactly the size. You can put your water. I'm just putting this water just to make my label to stay so that it will not just start shaking. I'll put my label. If the label nylon you bought is exact shape with your label, with your with your soap, you can just put it here. If it is the same shape, you can just seal like this, seal like this, and then bring it like this, and seal if it is not the same shape. You understand? So you have sealed this way, like this, and like this, and your soap will just be there. But if you don't have a sealing mesh, I don't have, you have issues with power, just use cello tape, just the way I did this ones. Just use cello tape to wrap it neatly. Just ensure you they are very, very neat. The way, look at the way I did this one. You will not even know I use cello tape. Why cello tape? They are beautiful. Another thing I'm going to show you is, you can also trim your soap, the edges of your soap. I'm going to show you how to use, because another thing I want to show you is how to use this shaper. This is a shaper. You can actually use it to put design on your soap. So, watch me. As I put design on this soap, so easily see. Can you see? You come again. You can see our mini adjustable cutter is on its way the for delivery. You see this how is the mold, this is and these are the shapers that so I also it. sell this trimmer. You can order yours. They are very very. I sell those. I sell the delivery. nylons for packaging. This and I sell this way. way. I sell mold. So, I sell pH. cutter. I sell everything that will make you start your soap business and succeed. So, if you see how you trim for you to trim your soap is with a trimmer. Shape. You can also decide to trim the, uh, these edges also. Can you see how beautiful our soap is turning? So, you can use it to trim any edge you want to, to trim. So, this trimmer is just 5K for now. If you're buying it, you can see how beautiful it is. Can you see? See how beautiful it has it has turned our soap to see so i sell this trimmer too so let's go ahead with go ahead with packaging our soap and you also i also have nylon and so you can also get carton tell them to customize the cartons for you tell them to customize the carton for you you use it to pack your soap at the end of the day can you see how beautiful our soap have turned out Look at that very one I shaped. Do you see? See, because I shaped the size. So just this up, the label just entered. Can you see how beautiful it is? Can you see? So you can actually pack your soap very easily like this. Do you see how beautiful? Just make sure this thing is at the middle. Don't mind me. I'm teaching you so you can do this better. You understand? So just ensure it is well positioned, centralized. Eh? You see? So tell me, who will not buy this soap when they see it packaged like this, very beautifully packaged? You see? Just see how beautiful it is packaged. Eh? So just go ahead, buy nylon. I use just nylon, this nylon, this nylon that has cello tape here. I use cello tape and I printed my labels. Eh? And it is very, very cheap. This nylon is cheaper than the other one that has that has. Cheaper than this one that has something at the back here. So, but if you want to use this one, so you, you want that classy, you want your soap to be like the one that they sell in the market. You can also use this one. Eh? Then use your sealing machine and seal it. It already has this, but ensure that your soap is of this size. That, that the size of your soap is just this, like this. Yeah, so the size of your soap is exactly like this. So when you seal it, it will be very firm and you can seal. So just seal and you see your soap will be very, very firm and beautiful. So I've taught you how to package your soap affordably and simply. So hope you got value from this video. If you got value, please can you leave me a like? All I am asking for is just a like. Just like this video and also share it for others to benefit from this also. And if you want this shaper, like I said, I sell this shaper. Look at the one I shaped with this shaper. Look at how beautiful and different it's looking. Can you see how it is looking very different? See how it's looking very different from the one I did not shape. So you can see the difference. So just go ahead and 
Package your soap nicely. They said better market now. I then they first take buyer. So when people see you pack your soap like this, at least they will come close and ask you what you they sell. Then they will buy. So please, I beg you. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to my channel. Please like and share, and God will bless you as you do that. I don't just sell, teach you how to make soap. I sell everything that will make you start that business. I sell digital scale. I sell measuring cup. I sell hydrometer. I sell your cutter, your mold, silicon mold, metal mold, anything at all to make that business come to life. I am your best bet. I am your shop log. So just give me a. Send me a WhatsApp message on 234-8029-04-6605 and I will get it delivered to you anyway. Thank you for watching. Hope you have liked this video. I gave you value. Please, the only value you will give me now is by subscribing and by liking this video. Please do that now and God bless you as you do that. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.